share, okay? All right, and we're doing uh, classic T-shirts, as we always do to kick off the show. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And so, Rally, I really like what you're wearing tonight. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is a Kiss shirt from, and this was a gift from uh, one of our, or a couple of our hashtag PBT fans from mm -hmm. Alfredo and Janie Rios from Conroe, mm -hmm. Texas. Conroe, Texas. Yes, yeah. Conroe, Texas. And let me just get up a little bit. Yeah, Creatures of the Night, Kiss. Yeah, that was a good album. Nice. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my Kiss t-shirt. And yeah. thank you to the Rios family I remember for gifting it to me. Back in the late 70s, I mean, Kiss was, and mid-70s, Kiss was huge, man. Merchandising, they were the kings of merchandising in the music industry. I remember in Kinder, a kid dressed up as uh, Gene Simmons. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it was the late 70s And uh, it was everywhere I mean yeah. you couldn't avoid it It was a juggernaut And if you'd go into a young adolescent's room You would probably wouldn't be able to see the color of the room Or the paint on the walls Because the walls were completely covered with Kiss memorabilia Kiss posters Kiss magazines I mean these guys had everything and I don't think there's ever been a band that can even come near them. Their That's, marketing. Their marketing and no. merchandising. Um, you know, most bands, it's just T-shirts and caps and, you know. But to make a coffin... I mean, that's yeah. taking it to the next level. A coffin? A coffin? Yeah. Yeah, the Kiss coffin, which is also a, a cous an ice chest. You yeah. can put beer in it, mm -hmm. and you can you know, have a party and have the Kiss coffin. Yeah. I mean, and to have a comic book with their own blood mixed in the ink. You know? Yeah, I mean, uh, Dawkins didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, no. That, There's no Dawkins <laughs> no, casket. No, not even Pantera. Yeah. yeah. And Pantera was one of those bands that would probably do something like that, but... So, uh, all right, what about you, Charlie? What kind of classic tea do you have, man? You know, one of the things I like about this show, there's a lot of things I like, but we get to talk movies, mm -hmm. and we've talked about movies quite a bit. Do you recognize this brand? Uh, Big Kahuna Burger. Yeah. You know what that is? Wait, dude, do you remember, babe? What? Big Kahuna Burger. Big, it's, it's, in your, no. it's in your brain, right? You yeah, know? yeah. Okay. Is it the food truck? In no? the in the oh. in the world of Quentin Tarantino, uh -huh. there are fake brands, and in the world of Quentin Tarantino, in his movies, a lot of the characters go to the Big Kahuna Burger. Yeah, and uh, do you remember when uh, in Pulp Fiction, when Samuel L. Jackson says, "That looks like a tasty burger." And then he grabs it. The Big Kahuna Burger. Yeah, yeah. He, he's talking about the Big Kahuna Burger. No, that's right, and he, dude. he bites it and he <laughs> goes, this is a pretty tasty burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so in the world of Quentin Tarantino where everything's tied together, this is a brand yeah. of uh, hamburgers. Oh, okay. And uh, the only thing that's not tied in the Quentin Tarantino universe is the movie Kill Bill. Because that's a movie that they would go see at the movies. Mm. Like if they went to, they would see Kill Bill. Yeah. That's that, that, that connection, a, bro, right? Yeah. So anyway, when somebody says, eh, the big kahuna, you know, they're a Tarantino yeah. fan. So wow, I dude. got the big kahuna burger. Yeah. yeah wow. There you have it. Did you special yeah. order that shirt? Or? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, yeah. And it, I, I saw a shirt, speaking of like a food, uh, yeah. uh, Pollos Hermanos. Really? Yeah, I remember we saw it at the mall. Yes, at and, and it's, Spencer's. And it's got right? Walter White and then uh, what's the name of the kid? Uh, um, Pinkman, Pinkman. Pinkman. And they, they're dressed Jesse, in Jesse. They're, yeah, they're dressed in chicken suits. Have you ever seen Breaking Bad, dude? No, but Ugh. I mean, it, it sounds phenomenal. So it uh, is, dude. It is. I gotta check it out. Uh, you, uh, you start with the first, and you know what? It'd be right up Charlie's alley, right? Yes, for sure, Charlie. For I mean, because the dude is a yes. chemist, uh, like a chemistry teacher, teacher and he's unemployed, yeah. and, and then he's like, "I'm gonna do something about it." Baby. Yeah, right? and, and yeah. the the dialogue that he has is like very like. Very nerdy education. Right, yeah. And he, like, this guy's a little bit too smart. Yeah, yeah, and then he's got the Pinkman guy who's like, he bounces off of that's one of those street level of meth smoking, uh, yeah. having all these issues, living with his mom and dad, and, and they become partners, man. It's pretty crazy, man, but it's a really good, good series. And I was kind of sad when it ended, man, but because uh, it was a lot of fun. I was hoping... Uh, they continue with it. Uh, so now it's my turn. Yes. What shirt are you wearing? A friend of mine named Rick Rincones, who I have known since like 1985. 
he's from Washington, D.C., man. And I was working at a nightclub called The Carousel, and I was doing rock night. And when I first started there, there was nobody there on rock night because they had a dude from Reynosa playing disco on rock night. So I went there to enjoy rock night, and I, the, the dude was playing disco. I went and told the uh, owner, hey, man, what the hell? You ain't got no freaking rock up there. That dude's playing disco. He says, well, that's the only DJ I have, you know. And I said, well, you know what? I work Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays in Harlingen. I can do Wednesdays here. He says, all right, well, you got a deal. And he goes, okay, well, give me some money to buy some records. So he gave me some money. 200 bucks i went till cent uh till central mall and, and uh, palm plaza music land and shit I bought some rock albums rat twisted sister i came back to the club the following wednesday and within three or four weeks the place was packed with nice. rockers you gotta find that niche yeah you gotta find that gimmick and besides that they had 50 cent budweiser long necks all night long <laughs> 50 cents there, yeah 50 all. cent dude i'd buy i just buy a case just yeah. give me a case here you know and so I went down there, and it was a dude with long hair and eyeliner and uh, these uh, earrings hanging down, you know, that he had that Nikki Six hair kind of, right. you know what I mean? So I started talking with him, rapping with him, and we've had a friendship ever since, man. Rick Rincones, dude. Ricky Rackman. Ricky Rackman. He looks like Ricky Rackman. That's what they would call him, Rackman. And that's his band? Yeah, this was his band, Noise Gate. So he gave me this. He says, dude, I have one shirt, long sleeve, and I want you to have it, bro. Nice. So, so he gave it to me. And uh, the singer in the band, Joe Lial Jr. is the drummer, and his dad owned the studio in Westlaco, and uh, he's the one that recorded our first album, Whiskey D. And then uh, Juan Reina was a singer, and me and him were competitors back in the day, metal, heavy metal singers. Right. And um, he sang with a band called Rigor Mortis, and I ended up being asked to sing and fill it fill in his spot because he got out right okay and you know then it started kind of little rivalry and you know how it sure, gets yeah, with bands yeah, and stuff yeah. the two roosters and uh one of the most memorable moments was that after party after the club we're all partying out and we ended up going to an apartment after party and he was there and he was buzzing and he was just sitting there and just staring at me man with some mirror glasses i was sitting across on a couch and he was like in the couch in front of it and he was just looking at me and then i was just like and then I said, hey, well, what's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> and, you know, and he just says, I'd like to challenge you, James. Uh -oh. I'm like, for what, bro? I want to challenge you to a singing duel. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And maybe next time. <laughs> Not tonight, dude. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was already buzzed. So, but he was like, you know. His testosterone was yeah, shooting, dude. Man. And dude, this dude was built, Vato. I mean, he was built. And, man, it was shocking that, you know, he, he got leukemia, man, and he passed away. I mean, leukemia. And it was like, it was shocking to a lot of us because you would think the dude would, he was untouchable, man. Because, right, you know, yeah. I mean, nothing was going to hurt And then the when guy. you're young and that the, the guys you look up to, the cool guys, it's like, man, this guy can do anything. Yeah. So, uh, you know, rest in peace, uh, Juan Reina, man. And, you know, we're from that era in the 80s when there were local bands were coming up and we we're doing all Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath and Ozzy and Judas Priest and all that good stuff, Saxon. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, and Rick, you know, I got this uh, noise gate shirt, man. I appreciate it. And it's perfect because the cool front came in and I was a little cold. So I put on the long sleeve, man. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are our hashtag PBT Classic Tees. And now we've got some from the fans, right? Babe? We do. We have some really, really amazing ones from the fans. So this is our hashtag PBT classic tease from the fans. And let me show you. All right. It is amazing. I'm going to take watching my yeah, these. I know. I'm going to take my time so that way you guys can see it um, um, play back. So we have Pete Salazar on the right from Del Rio, Texas. And he's wearing a break in that movie. Oh break yeah! Oh yeah! Breaking! Yeah, and I love the his boogaloo. Little... Where the, like right? Oh, like... that's breaking two electric boogaloo. Oh yeah! Okay. Oh, the yes, first yeah. one is just breaking. Yeah, it's just breaking. This yeah. is just for, I guess you're getting ahead of yourself, Rob. Yeah. With the, the break dance I'm already at part two. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah, he looks super duper cool with that little that little hat that he has. It's like real. It's the checkered black and white hat. Uh -huh. It looks really, really awesome. And then in the middle, we have a classic The Beatles t-shirt from Gilbert Theus from Rankin, oh, yeah. Texas. Who, by the way, his wife, Leticia, sent us 
um, a picture last week. So this yeah. is Gilbert. They is from Rankin, Texas. Thank you so much for submitting that. And then we have a picture of us with Miss Ali Vasquez. She's wearing a classic Selena t-shirt. We met her this weekend and they gave us some goodies. She made us some bracelets that I'm wearing today. Um, you were wearing it yeah, earlier today. To put yes. Mine on. So I saw it on top of the counter. I was like, I'm wearing it. Bring it to me right now, yeah, baby. So, um, Ali, Gilbert, Pete Salazar, thank you so much for submitting those pictures. You guys look amazing. Ali, you are so, so cute. Yes. So All that's, right. those were the two.